The following video is part of my Building IPv6 Service Provider Core webinar. To learn more about my webinars, please visit my website. Every large service provider network is usually split in two parts. The core network, where we are dealing with high-speed transport, usually implemented on some very high-speed technology, be it gigabit Ethernet, 10 gig E, or high-speed WDM, or SDH. And then we have the access network, where we have all the customer connections, and they might be carrier Ethernet, or DSL, or cable, or whatever else you have there. Between the access and the core networks, you usually have PE routers, uh, sometimes they're called BRAS, Broadband Remote Access Servers. Their principal role is connecting access networks to the core, and on the PE routers you implement per customer services, you enforce QoS, sometimes you implement the VPN functionality, and on the other hand, in the core you have the P routers, which should do a single thing, which is high-speed packet forwarding. The prim primary goal you should have in the core network design is to make the core highly stable, which means that whatever is happening on in the access network shouldn't affect the core, which usually means that you have to split the customer routing from the core routing. What I'm usually recommending is to have customer routes in BGP so that if the customer networks flap, you don't get IGP flaps, and to run a dedicated core IGP, which is never affected by issues in the access network. Also, there's no reason to have customer prefixes in core IGP. The only thing you should have there are BGP next hops, and core links. And of course, uh, if you have a decently sized network, like more than a few routers, you should absolutely use route reflectors for BGP scalability. Now, as with IPv4, you have two options. Either all your core routers run BGP, because if you run IPv6 natively, then every single router in the path has to know all the IPv6 prefixes so that it can decide whether to send the packets left or right. So if you have native IPv6 transport, then all the core routers need all the routes, so they have to run BGP. On the other hand, if you use MTLS as the transport mechanism between the PE routers, and it doesn't matter whether you run MTLS VPN or just pure internet access, in both cases, you can use MPLS to transport data between PE routers. Then only the PE routers have to run BGP. Between them, you use MPLS label switch paths. And of course, you establish those label switch paths with LDP or with traffic engineering. And as you'll see later on, the IPv6 version of LDP and MPLS traffic engineering is not yet implemented. The drafts have already been written, but the implementation is simply not there yet. So if you want to have MPLS in your IPv6 network, you have to use IPv4 to transport the data across, sorry, to transport the signaling messages across. To get more information about my webinars, to register for an online session, or buy a recording, or a yearly subscription, please visit my website.